Hey guys, Brettles here, and welcome back to another Sims 3 speed build. This time I am building my first houseboat. Because uh, I, I, like, I really like Island Paradise, it's certainly one of my favourite expansion packs. And I figured that, hey, I might as well build a houseboat. And while I was building this, it also occurred to me that I'd never actually properly sat down and tried to build a good houseboat. Um, and the game's been out for... Holy crap, the game's been out for over a year. Island Paradise has been out for over a year. Jesus, I didn't even realise that. Uh, but in that time, I'd never sat down and properly tried to uh, build a really nice houseboat. So I decided that is what I would do. Um, now, this houseboat is built specifically for my Sims 3 Let's Play household. Uh, because I'm going to be bringing The Sims 3 back simply because I like The Sims 3. Uh, the old series got a bit stale and boring. This time I've got it fresh, rejuvenated. It's going to be awesome. We're going to be in Isla Paradiso on this cool little houseboat. <coughs> and we are going to have some fun. Uh, I, I really like this houseboat. Um, I, w one thing I really enjoyed about building this is that it really pushed me out of my comfort zone. Uh, usually I build these really modern... I guess minimalistic, not really minimalistic, but that, those sort of houses, really uh, ultra-modern contemporary sort of homes. I mean, while this is modern-esque, I guess it, it's certainly modern on the outside, but on the inside it's very tropical, and that pushed me out of my comfort zone, which I actually quite enjoyed. It was uh, really nice to build something different. Uh, I enjoyed building this houseboat, it was uh, pretty sweet. Uh, now the interior consists of four bedrooms and two bathrooms, uh, so that's uh, got plenty of room. <coughs> Also, if I keep clearing my throat and or cough, it is because I am sick, and uh, I, al I, I always seem to be sick, don't I? I don't know what it is. Um, it's winter, so that's probably got something to do with it, but um, I have to keep clearing my throat, so I do apologise about that. Uh, so yeah, just working on the outside of the house, it's uh, obviously called C-Stack because it's these different little cubes stacked on top of each other, which is pretty sweet. I enjoyed that, it was uh, quite cool, I thought anyway. Um, <coughs> oh my goodness. Wow, that's, this is going to be the theme of this video, isn't it? Just me coughing and spluttering and dying. Oh, Jesus. I'll try to cut most of it out if I can. Uh, but anyway, yeah, just working on the exterior, it's a very nice looking exterior. Um, it's very blue. I actually was uh, inspired to build this style of house, well just to build a houseboat in general by one of the rooms I did last week in Familia which was that, th I think it's the fourth bedroom, it's got that really beachy sort of style um, wood on the walls and all that sort of stuff and I thought it'd be pretty cool to build so uh, I decided to build a houseboat and it turned out pretty nice. Now the styling and the furnishing and everything on the inside is very very different to what I usually do. Usually it's um, like I said very minimalistic but this one's got, it's very busy I guess. It's uh, very, not so much cluttered but there's lots of stuff. It's very homely. It feels like somebody lives there and has decorated it themselves. There's lots of painting on the walls or paintings on the walls and plants and different objects and ornaments and stuff around the place. It just looks really nice. Um, <clears throat> it's a very uh, homely, cosy little houseboat and uh, it's also a very narrow houseboat so I use the narrow barge um, to build this on so I think it's only six wide uh, but then it's like 20 long so uh, there's plenty of space it does go all the way from the back or not quite all the way from the back I think there's like a space of two or three at the front and then it goes all the way to the front so uh, yeah, there's certainly no shortage of space with this build it's uh, not going to be cramped and uh, I don't know I just thought it was uh, a well done house on my part. Uh, not to talk myself up, but I thought I did a pretty half decent job. Uh, now, like I said, uh, this is going to be built specifically for my Sims 3 Let's Play, so um, you will be seeing this house in the future if you are going to watch that, which I recommend you do because it's going to be pretty fun. I think I will. Uh, it will be nice to rejuvenate the series. Uh, now you'll notice here there's no stairs going up the front and the uh, actual entry to the house is on the second floor uh, because these ladders are the way you get up to the house which I thought was pretty cool you just throw in some ladders and climb up each side and there you go hey presto it's all done you can get up there to the second level there's also some awesome views from this house um, obviously you'll get awesome views from everywhere because you can move because it's a houseboat and uh, yeah th that's what I do like about Island Paradise just the fact that you can move your entire house with the houseboat that's uh Pretty sweet. We've also got the helm down the front here, which is where the uh, <coughs> houseboat is steered from. Also a nice little shade that will go over that as well, so uh, you don't get sunburnt, uh, but you still get nice views from here. There's also a little outdoor sitting area, 
which looks uh, quite nice. Uh, there are two bedrooms on the lower floor. The second floor consists of the living area. There's a bedroom and a bathroom on the very top floor, and then there's also a basement level, which is like um, in the actual hull of the ship, uh, which consists of another bedroom and the main bathroom. So, uh, yeah, like I said, there's no shortage of space. There's plenty of rooms. Um, it will definitely hold enough people, uh, which is good. There's also, um, on that second level, it's nice big open plan living. Also some outdoor dining areas around the place, as I said, and lots of windows to let in the natural light, which is what you want when you have a house like this. Uh, so you're just uh, playing around with the outside colours now, just sort of looking at it and thinking, hmm, what can I change? What windows can I put in? Uh, because, I don't know, I just didn't feel like it was right. Um, I mean, I could probably go through and um, completely redo the outside of this um, if I wanted to. <coughs> But um, I, I, f I felt it was pretty pretty good the way it was. Um, I wasn't unhappy with it, so um, I left it as it was, and I think it looks pretty nice. There's a little shade there, so uh, your sims don't get sunburnt when they're at the helm of this fine vessel. Arr, as a pirate. And, uh, yeah. I wish there was some sort of pirate thing in um, Island Paradise. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, I believe there's, like, the castaway pack or something. Uh, but that's not really pirate, that's just cast away, that's like, uh, what's his face, that really annoying dude whose name I can't remember. Tom Hanks, that's the one. <laughs> How could I not remember Tom Hanks, I don't know. Uh, I, I can't stand him, I can't stand Tom Hanks. Ugh, it drives me insane, I just want to punch him in the face. Uh, anyway, violence aside, uh, this is, uh, the front of, well, it's not really, I don't consider it the front of the house, I consider this the back of the house, but it is where you come in, so technically it would be the front. Uh, I don't know how you'd work that out, but, um, I don't know, I see it as the back of the house, because the front of the house is, like, the front of the ship. So, uh, because it is a ship, it's a houseboat, it's on the water, that's where the helm is, that's the way that it steers. So, uh, yeah, that's the way it goes. Uh, these little things are little f wall fountain light things that I wanted to put on there, but I just couldn't get them to work, so I decided to take them off. Um, I'd, I would have liked to have them there, but the fact that I have the sort of split level wall at the top... Uh, stopped it from looking whole. It was just like a gap at the top, and I didn't really like that. So I decided to leave it out. We've got these really nice spiral staircases that lead between the lower, f the lowest floor, and then the first and the second floor, and then there's a normal staircase going up through the split level from the second to the third floor. So um, I do like these spiral staircases. They end up looking quite nice. Um, and you'll also notice throughout the house there's lots of wood, lots of plants as well. It's, like I said, a very, very tropical looking house, which I do like. It pushes me out of my comfort zone um, and makes me do things a bit differently, which I like. It's, uh, it's pretty good. I don't mind doing that every now and again. Uh, I do like to stay within my comfort zone, as everybody does. That's why it's called the comfort zone, but it's nice to push yourself out of it every once in a while and try something new. You know, if you're not trying things new or trying new things, then you're not living. The day you stop living is the day that life ends. You know what I'm saying? No? Okay, never mind. That, that somewhat made sense, but I didn't explain it very well. So, let's just uh, let's just put that in the back pocket and ignore that stupid sentence. Anyway, yeah, these are the stairs that lead up to the third and final level. The top level, there's also bal a balcony that comes off this and the second level. So, your sims can go out there and take in the fresh ocean air and the immaculate views that are around. Yes, I know how to use fancy words. It's what I do. Uh, so this area here is the open plan living area. Uh, so you get your kitchen over this side, the right hand side, and then you've got a nice little, uh, I guess it's an island bench, <coughs> which can was, bleh, which is your dining area. Then there's also a nice little dining area outside, so your sims can go out there and sit and eat, and then you've got your little, uh, living area over in the corner across from the stairs, so it's uh, it's a relatively nicely planned out little place. Uh, I've got that really rustic looking wood on the counters, uh, coupled with a really glossy white bench top, and I think that looks pretty sweet. I like the contrast, I like how it looks. Uh, these are cool little stools as well, I like them. Uh, so I threw those ones in there. And they look pretty nice. I didn't forget a stove this time. I know I've forgotten a stove. Some people have said, hey, you're forgetting toilets and you're forgetting stoves. And I know I am. I've, I've tried to remember everything this time. Just If I do remember, if I do forget things, that is, point them out to me and I'll try not to remember. Uh, Jesus. And I'll try not to forget them next time. 
um, but then I'll just forget something else instead. So it's just a, it's just a whirlpool, really. You can what a whirl? That's a terrible analogy, isn't it? Jesus, move on, Braden, move on. <clears throat> so yeah, uh, like I said, there's lots of little ornaments and stuff. I like that little marlin. He makes an appearance quite a few times throughout the build, actually, on multiple walls in multiple rooms throughout the houseboat, which I do like. Here's a little outdoor area now, so your Sims can sit out there and eat and enjoy the fresh ocean air and hopefully not get eaten by a kraken. I was actually surprised that they included a kraken in this game. I'm like, oh my god, it's a kraken! Kind of f scared the crap out of me when I first saw that. That was pretty cray. It was pretty cray. Uh, but anyway, let's stop talking about the Kraken. Uh, let's talk about a house boat that floats. Oh, that rhyming. Shakespeare, eat your heart out. Anyway, yeah, yeah, so here is the living room. It's uh, obviously the same style as the rest of the house, uh, which is what you want. You don't want a whole bunch of different uglies, you know, mismatched things clashing with each other. It's just horrible. Eh, uh, don't want that. <coughs> no way, no way, no way. Uh, but anyway, yes, so let's talk about other things as well as the house. Uh, Sims 4 is two months away. What's the release date for The Sims 4, I wonder? I haven't checked. I know it's September. I don't know what the release date is. Uh, I actually haven't been playing, paying all that much attention. Um, <laughs> which is probably bad because, I mean, I'm, I'm excited for it. But I'm also quite sceptical for it. So, or sceptical towards it. Um, I don't really know what to think. Um, September 2. Oh, wow. Jesus, it's less than two months away. Oh, my goodness. Jesus. All right. I better get that Sims 3 series up and running before Sims 4 comes. Because when Sims 4 comes for the first couple of weeks, that's basically all that's going to be on the channel. So, uh, expect a build when that comes out. And some less plays and other videos and all that sort of stuff. It's going to be awesome. Uh, I don't really know what building's going to be like in the Sims 4. I don't know if they're going to include CFE. If they don't, I'm going to be very, very unhappy. I know you can adjust the height of the walls, but it's not really the same. Oh dear, I don't know. I don't know what to think about The Sims 4. I'm so sceptical right now. I don't know what to think about it. Uh, let me know what you guys think about The Sims 4. Are you excited or sceptical? Or both, like me? Because I'm... Yeah, I don't know. I I'm looking forward to it. I think it's going to be a good game. I just don't know if it's going to be as good as The Sims 3, because The Sims 3 is amazing, obviously. That's why it's uh, got such a big community and a big following. Crap games don't get that, so, uh, you know. Well, Call of Duty does, but, you know, let, let, let's just let's just forget about that. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know about Sims 4. It's so... I mean, one thing that I've been looking at is that up close, the visuals really don't look that impressive. Um, I know they're going for a stylized look, but, I mean, the game's made four years after The Sims 3, and I'm thinking the graphics are worse than The Sims 3, so... Mm, I mean, visuals aren't exactly a big thing when it comes to The Sims 3, it's more the gameplay, not how it looks. But to me, it is somewhat important what the game looks like, I mean, any game, because I, I want it to feel real, not just look like a bunch of cartoon still motion drawings just sort of moving about. That's not what I want in a game. I want it to look realistic and I want it to feel realistic and uh, visuals help with that a lot. So we'll see. Um, I know I've only seen screenshots and everything. I don't know what the game will be like. Uh, one thing I do hope though is that it's better optimized for powerful video cards and systems because Sims 3 runs like crap on just literally everything. It's horrible. It just l runs like turd. So I hope they fix that up. I sincerely hope that they fix that up. Uh, because if they don't, I'm not going to be very happy. Because my system is very powerful and it can't really run Sims 3 all that well. I mean, I get 60 FPS, which is fine. That's what my monitor is locked at. I'm running a 60 hertz monitor. But I can get higher than that in Battlefield 4, so... Mm, what's the dealio with that? I know I've talked about this before time and time again, but... Meh, I don't know. I don't even know what to think about it. I just hope, I'm just hoping, uh, the ball's in the developer's court now, um, whatever they've made, that's what we're getting, whether we like it or not, so let's just, uh, let's just pray that it is good. Uh, anyway, while we're, uh, still stuck with The Sims 3, let's, uh, talk about this Sims 3 house, so, uh, you saw that bedroom over there, that is a guy's bedroom, obviously, with the blue. This one has a more of a pinky tinge to it, or a pinky feel. 
Uh, it's quite a nice bedroom. Uh, I like all the bedrooms in this house, actually. Um, I do have all the sims done for my Let's Play, so I was kind of building these bedrooms for them. I guess so, yeah. I mean, obviously, each different sim has different tastes and likes and everything, so I had to build the house that would suit each of them. And that's what I did. So if uh, things look strange, it's specifically to build or to suit different uh, sim styles. So that's what I was going for. Uh, there's a little chest of drawers there, so you sims can put in their clothes or put their clothes in. Wow! Well, God, I don't think about what I'm saying before I say it. Christ. Anyway, yeah, there's a little lamp there, which is quite nice. Uh, you'll notice with the house what I was talking about. It's not very minimalistic. It's uh, kind of not cramped, but... Um, I oh, know, there's a lot going on, it's quite busy. Which I do like, I enjoy it, I think it's quite nice, it's a good change. Rather than having, you know, just, oh there's, check out the decoration in this room, it's just a chair in the centre of the room. So, uh, I didn't want to do that, I wanted to make it more homely, like somebody had decorated, the, decorated it themselves, so that's what I did. Uh, there's a cool mirror on the wall there, uh, a mirror, as some people would say, depending on your accent. I say mirror, because that's my accent. I really don't know why the Australian accent is so hard to do, because I was watching Pacific Rim yesterday, and there's two Australian blokes in it, or who are supposed to be Australian, but one's a Yank, one's a Pom, and their accents are just abysmal. Like, come on, you can you can do better than that. Jesus, it's like, ugh, come on, it's it makes me laugh. Their accents are bloody laughable. And I don't know why it's so difficult to do, because it's a very plain sort of accent. I mean, I, it's it's not difficult to do. It's really not. I mean, I guess it's just the fact that everybody seems to think that Australians talk like this, mate, you know. Crocodile Dundee, yeah. <laughs> I know, the shrimp on the barbie. None of us talk like that. I can guarantee you that. Like, we don't even call it shrimp. So, I don't, I don't, I don't even know where that term came from, because we don't call them shrimp. We call them bloody prawns, so get that right. Um, but yeah, that's a few uh, stereotypes quashed there. We don't all talk like this. As you can probably tell, there's a few Australians in the Sims community. And I assume most of you know what we sound like by now. So, uh, yeah, there we go. There's, uh, like I said, some stereotypes crushed there. You know what we talk like now. Anyway, let's get back to the house with some CFE. <laughs> Making the house look like a monster house. Jesus Christ, look at that. It's crazy. I hate it when it does that, because if you're using CFE... And you place floors on a floor... If you place floors on a floor... That has a level above it... Yeah, that's how I would say it. Then the level above it will just go haywire. And look like it did just then. So, uh, that is kind of a problem that, uh... It's relatively easy to fix. You just get the terrain leveling tool and bang, straight over it. It's, uh... Fixed, so it's not a big deal. I mean, the little sort of things that happen when you use CFE. At first, they can be quite daunting, because everything's just sort of, oh my god, it's turned into a monster house, but then, if you know what you're doing, it's just bang, bang, done. It's fixed. Uh, but it is quite daunting when you start learning. Like, it took me a while to learn CFE, actually. Um, I don't know when I started learning CFE. Because I did use, uh, or I didn't use it for quite a while, and, um, yeah, I, my house is... Well, everybody's houses are just better when you use CFE, because CFE is just so useful. I love CFE. I mean, I, I can't build a house without it these days. I mean, I, I use it in almost every house. I think I've used it in every house that I've built. I was trying to think back. Now, the first one I didn't use CFE. Um, I don't know. Most people use CFE in their houses. I mean, it's a very useful tool. It uh, is very good for modern houses especially, so... Like I said, I hope they include it in The Sims 4 or something like it. Um, but we'll see, won't we? We will definitely see. So uh, we are down on the lowest level of the house now. This is actually the basement. I, would it be called a basement? It's sort of like inside the hull of the ship, so it's not really a basement. It's not underground, it's above ground. Well, it's underwater, I guess. I do wish you could put uh, windows on this and see actually outside into the water. I think that would be freaking awesome. I wish they had have done that. That would have been so cool. Uh, the shortfalls. They fell short just on a couple of little things, but I mean, it's not really that big of a deal, so we can let that slide. Uh, now, this bathroom, it's kind of the main bathroom of the house. It sort of serves the lower levels and the uh, 
I probably wouldn't serve the living area, but uh, for the two bedrooms on the first level and then the uh, third bedroom on the basement or in the basement, it would definitely serve as their main bathroom, whereas the bathroom or the bedroom up the top on the very top floor, the third floor, uh, would probably use their bedroom that is right next door, I would assume so. Although with Sims and their decisions that they seem to make, you never know, the Sims could just decide that they're going to go all the way downstairs from the top level when there's a bathroom three feet away from them. Because that's Sims logic. That's what Sims like to do sometimes. And yep, yeah, that's just that's just what happens. I don't know why, don't know how, don't know who thought that was a good idea um, to make the Sims do that, but you know, who am I to judge? Who am I to judge? Um, <clears throat> so just throwing in a couple of little things there, uh, so your Sims can be nice, can be nice, so the room can be nice when your Sims are there. Uh, but yeah, this is the third bedroom that is down, obviously, on the lowest floor. This is the cap. well not really the captain, there's uh, not so much a captain of the boat, but it's the guy who looks after the boat. Um, he's like an old salty sea dog, so he likes a different style of room. You know, the old brown rustic woods and that sort of stuff. Uh, he probably wouldn't have a computer, but I decided to throw one in there anyway, because that's what I do. And, uh, you know, just sort of throwing some decorations around. Cause, you know, why not? Um, there's some drawings on the wall there of some stuff. Some pictures, um, some old school pictures by the looks of it, from a sports team. Um, and then some cool little uh, airplane pictures on the wall. I like those pictures. They are cool. <coughs> I very much like them. That lamp's pretty sweet as well. I've been discovering a whole bunch of other content that I've never really used that much before lately, and um, I'm enjoying using it. Using some things that are a bit different, which is good. It's always nice to mix things up a bit. Uh, over in the corner is that really cool little bench. It's kind of a creepy looking bench. It looks like something you'd lay on you know, BDSM style or something. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, that's that's kind of what it looks like, you know, bondage, whatever. Um, let's, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm just going to stop talking now. Uh, there's a little chest of drawers over there, so uh, the dude who lives here can get changed, or lives in that room can get changed, and uh, doesn't have to walk around in the nutty, which is preferable for everybody, I think, so we don't have to endure him walking around with no clothes on, and nobody has to get scarred. Let's move on. Uh, so yeah, we are on the final level of the house now. This is the top level. We have a nice big master bedroom. I guess you would call this a master bedroom. The other ones have been sort of like single bedrooms. Uh, but this one is a master. You get your nice double bed there. Big comfy bed. So you can sit back and relax. And then of course, uh, we've got a little seating area in there, which you will see soon enough. Uh, once I finish decorating this little landing area, it's sort of like a hallway sitting area. Uh, a foyer, reception room. I think reception room is what they seem to call everything in England. Um, that's at least that's what I've heard from those home design shows that my parents watch. So, or mum watches anyway. Um, but yeah, so that's that's the extent of my knowledge when it comes to English architecture. Um, also, I've noticed that Americans seem to say British, whereas Australians just say English because Britain is like, <coughs> excuse me, Britain and a lot of people don't know this, is England, Ireland, Wales, and Scotland. So, like, that's... There's a whole bunch of different nations. And while they're all... They don't have their own separate governments per se, they're all sort of governed by England, they are separate countries. And, I mean, certainly as far as Wales, Ireland, and Scotland are concerned, they're separate countries. As far as England's concerned, they're all the same, and they own them, because... I don't know, I think that's the way it goes. But, I mean, it really depends on who you, you, whose perspective you look at it from. Um, but yeah, they are separate countries, sort of. Um, whereas England is England, the actual country. Britain is Great Britain, the all different, all the different sort of uh, countries that are under the governing body of Britain is probably how you would say it. So that's that's how it works. There's um, geography 101 with me. So you're welcome. <coughs> You're very welcome. Um, there's a little sitting area I was talking about. There's a cool little fireplace that I threw in there because fireplaces are nice. And uh, I realised I just stopped what I was talking about, but uh, I felt that I explained it well enough, so I just abandoned talking about it, which is fine. Uh, but yeah, so this is the final bathroom. 
uh, of the house. It's the final room uh, before we move outside onto the balcony. And uh, I apologize if you can hear stomping in the background. It's uh, noisy people. So, I'm, I'm sorry. Anyway, uh, this is the final little bit of stuff that we place around before we cut into the screenshot. So, here is a beautiful shot of the bow of the ship. It looks uh, very nice. Another shot from the other side. It looks quite nice. Uh, it looks very modern on the outside, but it's very tropical on the inside, which I think is a nice little contrast to do. There's another shot from the back on the other side. You can see the ladders there for your sims to get up and down. Here is a shot from the side of the barge as well, or the houseboat. Uh, here's one uh, right from the dock where you would walk on to your vessel. Now this is the front door up on the second level now. Uh, obviously great views from both sides over there. You can see the big statue up on the head over there in Isla Paradiso and some nice views on the other side as well. Obviously these will change as the boat moves around. Here's the inside now. This is a shot of the kitchen. It looks so nice. It's uh, very tropical. Here's the open living room there. It looks very nice. And another shot of the room as a whole. It looks very nice when you put it all together and see it all done at the same time. Look at that. It's beautiful. I would certainly love to live in a place like that. A little cool shot of the spiral staircase down on the first level now. This is the little hallway there where your sims can sort of sit and chat if there's a party or whatever. Um, or just, you know, it's just a communal area. <coughs> Here's the first bedroom now. Uh, the guy's bedroom, very nice, very tropical. It's, uh, I don't know, it just really feels really relaxing. There's lots of stuff around. It feels very laid back and relaxed. And it's just a really nice place to sit. And uh, a nice place to sleep as well. You've also got some nice views out the windows as well. If you wanted to look at them, here's the second bedroom now. Obviously, a ladies' bedroom here. Uh, lots of pinks on the wall, but not sort of like overdoing it. It's just you know pink touches around the place with mostly white. It's uh, very nice. Uh, here is a shot of the basement. Don't really know why that was so hard to remember, but it was anyway. Nice little communal area. Again, very nice. Uh, here is the room of the captain of the ship. Captain Jack Sparrow. Not really, that's not Captain Jack Sparrow. Maybe I should make a Captain Jack Sparrow. I don't know. Anyway, it's a very nice room. Very relaxed, very uh, old and rustic style, which I quite like. Here is the bathroom now. Looks very nice. Again, tropical, as always, because that's the style of the house. Uh, the blue on the mirrors and everything is just because of the outside. It, uh, the blue seems to reflect off things, uh, including the light there, but that's a small price to pay, I feel. Here's the top little landing area, uh, which leads out onto the balcony. That's very nice, just a nice little place to sit again uh, in your sims to chat. Uh, here's the master bedroom with awesome views. Lots of space in here, nice little sitting area with the fireplace over in the corner, as you will see right now. There it is, all lit up, all very nice, lots of space in here, and it's just a really nice little room. Uh, cutting into the bathroom now, there we go. Uh, it's this relatively small bathroom, but it'll do the trick. You seems to have got, you know, a little basin, shower, and toilet. And here is the outdoor area with some views out into the sea which is a very nice. Downstairs now, this is where you pilot the ship. It's also a nice little place that you could sit and have a party, have a few drinks, you know, have a meal with your friends, that sort of thing. Uh, it's just a really nice little area, really. And there is a shot of the helm where you can steer the ship from. So, as we cut into a few shots at night, just checking out the views at night, it's a very, very nice little place to sit and just take in the world as it flies by. So, thank you very much for watching this speed build of Sea Stack, my first ever houseboat. I hope you have enjoyed. So, anyway, guys, I will catch you in the next video. And until then, stay safe, stay human, and stay awesome.